Cardano has just gotten a new wallet. Not yet on mainnet, but this wallet has been highly anticipated to see what it's got in store for us. And it is from one of the three founding partners of Cardano directly, IOHK. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Lace. Lace is a next gen wallet and user experience. At least that's the aim here. And it's hoping to be blowing all the other wallets out of the water in this way and a lot of other ways and having more features that other wallets just don't. So far, I've been pretty impressed with what's going on here and I want to give you an overview of the wallet today. Now, in order to get into Lace Wallet, you are going to have to first come to lace.io and then click on this link right here to try Lace on pre-production. This is a testnet version of the wallet, but you can also, will be able to switch this over to mainnet likely. Um, however, once you have it added to Chrome, you can see it in the top right, you can click here and then you're going to be prompted to either create a new wallet, connect to Harbor wallet or restore an existing passphrase. I've went ahead and created a fresh wallet and we're going to see what it looks like inside now. And here we are inside of Lace Wallet. I've even added some test ADA just to show you guys what it looks like. The main thing of this wallet is showing you the tokens and the wallet balance, which is going to be in USD by default. This is pretty good. Um, from a user interface point of view, we also have other things about glossary, um, how the wallet works and things in the wallet, just general FAQs. And it's really good to have this directly in the wallet so people don't have to leave the wallet interface, go somewhere else, search up a million things and figure out by themselves what to do. In this case, if they have questions, likely the answer is already inside the wallet. Now, it may not seem like the most important thing, but everything this wallet has done is very intentional. The user experience, user design is meant to be simple. There's big buttons to see receive and send and other things on the side. The subcategories have their own sections as well, including staking, um, which you can do. It looks really good. There's different saturation levels. It tells you the cost of the pools, the return on average of the pools and just everything going on inside of each tab. It's really simple, it's explained, and overall, I do really like the way Lace Wallet is looking so far. Now, a really important part about Lace Wallet is the settings, and to get there, you go to the top right, you click on this little guy icon, and you can see my wallet. Um, you can copy the address from here even, but you can also go ahead and change an address book. Um, this is really handy, most wallets should have this by default. And then if you go over here to the top right again, you can change other settings. For general settings, uh, your public key for now is all that's in this. You can also see different authorized dApps. So you can see Hoshki Swap is authorized on my wallet. And you can also see show passphrase, which would basically show you your 24 word seed phrase if you enter your password. Um, analytics, um, you can so toggle this on or off. FAQs, which is really important for supports, help to create tickets with the team. We haven't really had a wallet that is this committed in my opinion um, to helping people most wallets have just been out here and they do help a lot of people i'm not saying they don't i'm just saying having a professional ticket system with a ton of or a ton of people or a big team behind it is something kind of new in this space um, compared to what we had before with your roy and other not so great wallets from the founding partners of cardano this is a huge step up Another part is remove wallets and keep in mind things like this are really big for adoption and people using the wallet. Uh, things that explain everything in detail so people aren't confused. Remove wallet. Does this mean I get rid of my wallet forever and all my funds are gone? No. It means it does not affect the balance and it can be restored at any time. Things like this are really important and although they're small, all of them add up. Um, other than that, there isn't too much to go into detail here. Overall, I think Lace Wallet is pretty solid. You can try it out for yourself by going to lace.io and downloading the Chrome extension and then testing it on pre-production. They also have QR codes, but everything looks very clean. And lastly, I do want to cover the small view because this is very important. Um, and this part also looks really, really clean. In my opinion, one of the cleanest wallets we have on Cardano or are going to have on Cardano main next. We don't have it yet. NFTs, um, I don't have any NFTs, so we can't see the view right now. Uh, transactions uh, they are loading uh, but i don't have any transactions other than the one that came in for ada and then staking which is really simple and you can then expand for full experience or go into settings here once again very simple looks really clean everything is condensed perfectly and lace wallet gets some thumbs up for me anyways that's it for today if you enjoyed the video consider staking with the giant stake pool and i am going to make a tutorial on how you can 
create a wallet with Lace, import your other wallets, and also connect to hardware wallets. If you want to see that, stay tuned, and I will make those videos as well. It's been your friend Jack. Stake with the Jack Stake. We'll turn passive ADA. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.